This is the Hair of the Dog Comedy Show. We are so thrilled to have you here. Give it up for Chip Hall, everybody. Yeah. Thank you all very much. How's everybody doing today? Having a good day? Yeah. I'm having a bunch of better today, today than I did yesterday. Yesterday, at this time, I was at Planned Parenthood. I'm not gonna make any jokes about it. I'm just that's that's I'm so much I'm so much happier to be here today. Way better. So I got into an argument with a coworker about what superpower we would pick if we could pick any one. And he said super speed like the flash. But his reason was so that he would never again be late for work. <laughs> we can all agree that's the worst possible use of a superpower, right? Even if I had super speed, I'm still gonna be late for work. I'm gonna be out robbing banks and shit. I'm not a good person. <laughs> and, and I told him that I would pick as a, a superpower, the one that I'm gonna pick, because it includes so many of them, it's Jedi. And it's the one that comes with a lightsaber. Plus, I could do this shit. These are the jokes you're looking for. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter at Chip D.B. Hall. It's really hard to imagine Alex Guinness saying Twitter, just so you're keeping track when they're there. Yeah. Oh, all right. Uh, I think it's weird that cat people um, like to think that cats are better than dogs. Has anybody ever seen a video of a soldier coming home to its cat? <laughs> no, you haven't. I checked. There's one, and it's a, it's a making fun of this exact subject. <laughs> See, a soldier coming home to his dog is as much a tearjerker as surprising his kids at school. That shit gets me every time. But a soldier coming home to his cat, the cat's just gonna be like, I've been here. Where have you been? War? What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Get me some tuna, you pussy. Don't ask me why all cats sound French in my head, they just do. All right. I'm actually a veteran, though, of the United States Air Force. That's exactly why I bring it up. Mandatory applause break. The problem is, though, that most people expect veterans to have really good war stories. But I was a weather forecaster in Alaska. Can't make that shit up, people. Froze my ass off for two years up there for this joke. Yeah, so unless you want to hear about like 700 really accurate snow forecasts, I'm going to disappoint you. But I like to bring that up because I'm going to do a couple of jokes that are um, um, a little on the of offensive side some, to some people. And I just wanted to remind you that I fought for your freedom. <laughs> and if you don't like it, I'll just tell all your grandparents that you don't support troops. So here we go. The last girl I dated, uh, seriously dated, was a, a born-again Christian, which was fine, because it came with lots of blowjobs for Jesus. But she was also on the paleo diet, and that makes her a certifiable crazy person. Because as you know, the paleo diet is based on the eating habits of cavemen in the Stone Age. Because when I want nutrition advice, I'm gonna ask the spokesman for Geico. And now, the problem I had was that she denied evolution. Yet she chose a diet based in a period of history that she believes never existed. <laughs> and that is a very, very special level of crazy. Ah, she loved pills too, but we're not gonna get into that. <laughs> that's, that, yeah, that, that's a whole level of science that she can't comprehend. Um, I recently found out that my 65-year-old, balding, overweight, conservative Republican father has a profile on plentyoffish.com. It was a little weird to discover, I gotta admit, because uh, he was married to my mom for over 30 years, and he still fucking is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, didn't really know what to do about it first. Best case scenario here is that my parents are swingers, and they're not. Uh, I didn't know what to do, uh, so <laughs> I decided I made this decision, and that was to start hitting on the girls that my dad was trying to pick up. 
which was kind of like shooting fish in a barrel because I am crushing 65-year-old pussy. <laughs> Literally. It's nice, though. I get dinner cooked for me at 4.30, bingo at 6, sex at 7, and I'm home by 8 to fuck girls my own age. I almost didn't get that whole breath out. Oh. Um, so I'm from Chicago originally, um, been in New York for a while, it's football season, I've been looking for a place in New York to watch the Bears. As it turns out, you gotta be real careful how you Google that. <laughs> yeah, if, if you Google Bears Bar New York City, you get a lot of fucking hits. Really nice guys though, you got a lot of free drinks, it was really popular that day. Didn't see any football though. <laughs> Just a fun New York experience. Um, before I came to New York, I did this show in a town called Montezuma in Indiana, uh, which, in case you're wondering, is like the most racially insensitively named place in history. Montezuma was the ruler of the Aztecs from Central America, not this America. And then, uh, I don't know if you know this, but Indiana was a territory that was given to the Native Americans by the government. And then we just kind of took it and kept the name because white people, <laughs> it's just kind of our thing. <sighs> yeah, so that's that. That's where I'm from. <laughs> uh, yeah, you were ta Jay, you were talking about dentists and racists. I got a couple of those in my family. It's, it's, yeah, no. And I, it never occurred to me that like the making the teeth white thing, kind of where that came from probably. Yeah, it's a little disturbing. Uh, I was driving on the highway doing 70 in a 60 mile an hour zone, because I'm an American and that's how you're supposed to drive. And I got passed by a Krispy Kreme delivery truck. And this guy's going well over 90 miles an hour. And I realized he's figured out something that nobody else knows. And that's that no cop wants to get caught on video pulling over a Krispy Kreme delivery truck. Yeah. That also means if anybody's planning a bank heist, the Krispy Kreme delivery truck is your perfect getaway vehicle. Yeah, and if anybody uses that idea in any way, shape, or form in the future, I get a cut of that take. Because I do this and I'm poor. All right, thank you. I'm gonna leave you with uh, this idea. Um, have you ever come so hard that you started doing crunches? That happened to me the other day. and It's a good thing I was alone at the time because if there had been a girl there, I might have knocked her unconscious. You're welcome, have a great night. Oh, dang.